Let's get ready to rumble! Eddie is going to push through to get the Klitschko rematch. They're going to ask the IBF what they're going to do. Are you going to allow Joshua to stay their champion? If Klitschko does agree, the IBF belt could be gone. Eddie won't allow the belts to stop him making the best fights. And I agree with him 100%. He and Anthony Joshua have agreed that if they had their way, the next three fights they will take will be Klitschko, Wilder, Fury, which freezes out Luis Ortiz. Or what's new there? I'm guessing that because he didn't mention Luis Ortiz, that if Klitschko is not ready to exercise the rematch clause that was stipulated in the first contract, in the first fight, that they will take on Pulev, the IBF mandatory, and keep one of the belts, obviously. I think they're figuring that Fury won't be ready by April next year, when Fury said he will be ready to take on Joshua, and he said that Eddie Hearn has set a date. He already said that, in his own words. April the 18th, 2017. BJ Flores has a number 10 ranking. According to the WBA. Why? I don't think he's even fought a heavy. And the last time we saw him. He was taking a beat down from Tony Bellew. <laughs> Kevin Barry. He's mentioned two opponents. A unification fight with Deontay Wilder. And Tony Bellew. And you know. Like you know. He threw Deontay Wilder in there. To make it sound like it's a distinct possibility. Like it's multiple choice. When it's not really. It's not really. They're really not looking to mess with Deontay Wilder. And in the article, all he was speaking about was Tony Bellew and the great win against David Hay. You know, so we know what they want. And I don't blame them. I don't blame them. After the last fight, they're not capable of taking on unification fights. They're just not. They're just not right now. They need a confidence builder with Tony Bellew. They need something spectacular. Something spectacular that they didn't get in the... Andy Ruiz fight that they didn't get against the sparring partner or Carlos Takam. Frank Warren in regards to Tyson Fury's situation with UCAD, he said if a boxer is found guilty, he shouldn't be allowed to box, bottom line. But UCAD can't issue suspensions. They can't, as far as I know. They don't issue licenses, so a suspension is the withdrawal of your license. That's all that is, basically. And that's something UCAD have no power over. Frank Warren is now actually saying that Tyson Fury never tested positive for Nandrolone. Frank Warren is accusing UCAD of leaking false information to red top tabloids like Daily Mirror. David Hay is still limping, still got quite a distinctive limp following the snap to Achilles heel that he endured against Tony Bellew. He was speaking at Oxford Union in front of the students. So he could be a way off, returning back to the ring. Is it a case of which Brit it's going to be? Dillian White or Tony Bellew to take on Joseph Parker? We're still not sure. A lot of people, me included, are speculating that's why Dillian pulled out of the Marius Wack fight. Oh yeah, and I forgot Huey Fury. He's rated number one by the WBO. And although he withdrew through injury recently from his title shot against Parker, Peter Fury... Is optimistic that is Huey up next to bat. Daniel Dubois, he'll be looking to go 3 0 when he takes on David Howe on April the 8th in Manchester. This fight was supposed to happen last month at the Copper Box, but it's been rescheduled very quickly, put together for the undercard of Liam Walsh's challenge for Javante Davis's IBF Super Featherweight title. Howe has been stopped by the likes of Dave Allen. And by a few other, I won't say also rounds, but not so well-known opponents. He's a big, big, big guy, about 6'8", six, 6'9". Six, he looks in good shape, but Daniel Dubois is supposed to chop him down in less than three. Should do. Should do three or four. It didn't take Dave Allen very long. How is coming off a points victory, though, over Glaswegian Jay McFarlane. Should be just another opportunity for Daniel to let his hands go and get another stoppage as he ascends through the heavyweight ranks.